Good morning. It's Monday morning, November the 7th, 2022. And it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're going to read Proverbs chapter 29, verse 7 for our devotional thought this morning. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 7 says this, The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. And he's talking basically about compassion here. The righteous consider the cause of the poor. A person who knows the Lord can have feelings, can have compassion towards others. And this is a divine uh, conclusion and not a human one. This is a divine emotion, a divine sentiment, not a human sentiment. And that doesn't mean that it's not possible for an unsaved person to have concerns about other people, but the Bible does say that this is something that's characteristic of God himself. The, and, and so the righteous, his people, those who know and love him, consider the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. And the basic tendency of our natural sin nature is to be selfish, to be self-focused, and not to be concerned about others beyond ourselves. How does this how does this benefit me? How is this going to help me? Some people, I think, do kind things for others because it makes them feel good, but they don't really have it in their heart. It's not really a matter of compassion in their heart for others. They just like the feeling of being able to feel satisfied with themselves because they've done something for someone. Even those who know the Lord can, can err in that way, but... If we are truly godly, we will have compassion on other people. And this is a characteristic of who God is. The Bible says in John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this is the ultimate application of divine love toward humans. Uh, we, we read about God's mercy, and God's mercy endures forever. He, in other words, he is always going to be a merciful person. He's always going to be a merciful God. And mercy, by definition, means God responding to the human condition because of man's misery. And it's because God cares. God cares about people. And those who know the Lord and those who love the Lord likewise care about others. And so that's why this verse says what it does. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 7. The ungodly do not consider it, the Bible says, but a righteous person considers the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. What a blessing it is to, to be godly in that sense and to have God's character working itself out in us, in the lives and the hearts of God's people. So that they are able to have compassion towards others. Jesus said in John chapter 13, he said, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one toward another. And this love is sort of a contagious thing. We love God because he first loved us. And so the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. And we're able to care about other people also, besides just caring about ourselves. May God help us to look beyond our natural human tendency towards selfishness and be selfless and be giving and be helpful and kind and godly and concerned and compassionate toward others as well. God bless you today.